Hi everybody, this is a video of the Venture 70 watt high pressure sodium tubular light bulb with an internal igniter. As you can see, this is the Venture internal ignited high pressure sodium light I got off eBay. And as you can see on it, it says Venture lighting lamps ballast and controls. And it says, what does it say on it? HPS, that it stands for high pressure sodium. Uh, high pressure sodium lamp, high output, instructions for use are packed in the outer carton. Please use suitable ballast, which I am really using. It says 300 Celsius. I mean, do not connect directly to the mains without a ballast. And it says on it, connect to the mains with the ballast. And it says, do not use if broken and do not chuck in outer bins or take it to recycling. So, and as you can see on it, it says on it, um, HPST 70 watts slash IG slash E27 slash HO. Um, high pressure sodium lamps, high output, 70 watt. Venture part number is 00407 and it's a base E27 and that's all it says on it. So anyway guys, we're going to get it out of its box and you'll uh, see in one second or two guys. So, um, right, get it out here. So, right, that's it now. Um, got it out of its box. So anyway, here I have the, the tubular light bulb, the high pressure sodium. And then as you can see on it, it says Venture HPST 70 watt. I G E twenty seven O W L Y Y and it's got the internal igniter and it's got the starter in it. I've tested it and it works perfectly. But as if I turn that one off and turn it back on after when it's been on, it doesn't come back on straight away what that like what that other one does like I did on that video last night on YouTube. So, and it's got the starter button in it. Well, starter actually, excuse my fingerprints, with the silver stainless steel screw cap on it. So, anyway guys, we're going to get into the socket now. So, right, it's coming in nice and tightly now. It's fitted in nice and tightly now. And it's fitted in like so. So anyway guys, so so as you can see now, so all I'm going to do now is switch the uh, switch the big light out now. So, right, that's it now guys. The big light's gone out now. So onto the internal ignited high pressure sodium tubular light bulb everybody. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Wow, as you can see, you see that starter glowing on it, and it should glow with a nice pink colour. And it does shine a very like a like a like a uh, a lilac colour, but um, it does shine a bit of a lilac colour to start with. But it will turn orange eventually. It does it does take its time though. But and it is showing giving out uh, three watts of light, and that's all it is. So yeah, so all it's doing now, so it's, it's going to take a little while to warm up, but. Look, oh, look at it at the bottom now. The, the very bottom starting to turn orange, but the rest of it is still in lilac. But it'll spread all the way from one end, from the bottom to the very top of that arc tube. And, um, well, which is, you can see it now, it's starting to, to turn fully orange. Yeah, so, um, and as you can see, and it's lit my breakfast tea table a nice orangey colour. And it's coming right into yellow, well, to amber actually. So it's turning nice and orange. Now it's like the sun's rising, yeah. So um, it's like um, like drinking sun kiss. And, and let's look up all around my room, and it looks all very nice and orange on the camera. But yeah, it does take a little while to warm up. But I'll wait for it to uh, when I turn it out. I'll wait for it to fully change into uh, orange. Well, when does it reach its uh, final wattage at 70 watts? So, and this bulb has definitely got 70 watts. And uh, let's look at that starter at the bottom, that glass tube, and it's and it's got this neon, yeah, the neon starter in it, yeah, and um, it's like a barrel shape. It's funny that the the uh, the starter bulb is right on its side and not pointing upwards. I very much preferred it point upwards because uh, I think the ones that point on the side have the might have a cutout mechanism that makes the bulb not come back on straight away after you've turned it off, turn it on after it's been. You have to when you turn it off after it's been on for a while, and then when you turn it off and turn it back on, we don't know whether. Well, I tried this one, but the one that I did on YouTube last night came back on straight away. But this one, if I turn this one off and turn it back on, it doesn't come back on straight away. It takes a little while to fully reload up. So, so all I'm going to do now is just watching it fully warm up, and um, it's like being. In, it reminds me of one of the uh, the bus station because years ago in bus stations, like interchanges, all those lights in the in the shelter all had those high pressure sodium lights but they're all now in LED and what have you and it's showing everything in all black and white I don't know what it is about 
a high pressure sodium light with an internal igniter it um it takes its time to warm up but the one with the external igniter warms up more quickly but but uh, this one like this one takes a little while i don't know if it's is it because the ballast is magnetic but you certainly you certainly can hear it humming yeah you can yeah it's the the ballast is humming inside it because the live is still traveling through it but i fitted with a capacitor on it so and um and this uh, beautiful uh, edison screw cap on it and it's and it has reached oh yes it's reached its full brightness and everything i look all around it's like a like a sausage yeah <laughs> so so as you can see now and as you see my bananas in pajamas on and all me apples pears and oranges litter all the nice color it matches with the color of that they match with the color of this high pressure sodium light and what have you and um does it say anything else on it well it was worth i read the instructions whilst i'm waiting for this bulb to fully reach its brightness so 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 and as you can see on this it says um venture lighting and adva an advanced lighting technologies company it says high pressure sodium lamps and it says this lamp yeah this lamp should only be used with a suitable type of it yeah suitable type of luminaire that complies with iec 60598 before replacing any lamp check the wattage rating base type and control gear to ensure it is uh, the correct type for the application so um so what else does it say uh yes it says uh, always switch off the mains before um, so yeah always switch off the main supply and let the lamp cool down for at least 15 minutes before remove or cle cleaning it uh, this lamp yeah this lamp will start and operate with a 10 percent reduction in rate supply voltage when the correct control gear is used however to maximize the lamp survival and lumen lumen maintenance to the supply voltage and ballast design voltage should be within uh, plus slash uh, dash three percent supply variations of plus uh, slash five percent are permissible for short periods only the live phase line connection with the supply must be connected via the the ballast slash igniter to the to the center contact of the lamp base because it says action should be taken to avoid scratching or damaging the outer gla lamp glass and what else does it say um when installing a new replacing single uh, ended lamp ensure that the lamp base may um, makes proper connection with the lamp holder contacts by using sufficient force to secure firmly to Minimize the risk of lamp because in loose through the vibration during service. Do not use excessive force or allow to allow the lamp to be in direct contact with rain. Condensation droplets or snow or ice to avoid the risk of the bulb shattering. And it says, uh, what else does it say? It says, uh, safe notice, do not operate lamp if the outer glass is outer glass bulb is cracked or broken if the if uh, if this occurs switch off the main supply immediately and when remove the the lamp from the fixture using suitable protective clothing the manufacturer accepts no liability for injury or damage res resulting from the incorrect use of the lamp or if used within yeah with inappropriate equipment consult your supplier if you have any concerns and lamp disposal when disposing the old yeah the old lamp local relegation yeah regulations must be observed and um what does it else does it say does it say ensure yeah let me just say on it, it says ensure the uh, igniter used with iec um i'll tell you what let's forget about all this now so anyway guys so as you can see now onto the uh the lamp now it's fully reached its brightness at orangey pink color yeah and it does take its time though because it's a uh, 
because it being an internal ignited high pressure sodium so there was a lot to read on the instructions so I don't want to read too much of that I think it's a bit too much but anyway now guys so as you can see now the um the the sun the sun lamp has reached its full brightness at 70 watts bright and hot and everything so it's fully uh, warmed up now so all I'm going to do now is uh, switch out this light bulb now so wow and and once i turn it off now it's still glowing but it will take its time to uh, fully fade away but it will um it will tend to uh, fade away i mean in well surely intentionally but i can't say any other words right but anyway well um previously so and, and as you can see now it's still glowing it's still take its time to uh it, yeah i was going to say eventually it will take its time to fully fade away but it will fade away eventually but it's it's like it's saying it's waving goodbye and that's all it's doing, yeah. And um and as you can see, when I look at it from my eyes now, it looks like it's fully fading away like so. And that's all it is. And when I look at it now, it looks like it's it's fully, fully gone out. So anyway guys, as it's fully gone out now, all I'm gonna do now is turn this big light back on now. Right, that's it now guys. Uh, the big light's back on now, everybody, so and that's all it is now, so anyway guys uh this is a video of the the venture 70 watt high pressure sodium tubular light bulb with internal igniter and everything everybody so i hope you all enjoyed this video so please comment rate share and subscribe thank you for watching everybody